Hi, it's Rebecca from The Lipstick Gal, and I wanted just to share with you just a short video of some of my favorite things that I have been enjoying in the last month, things that I have been trying out. Um, I, of course, know that some of these items you may be very familiar with. If you're not familiar with them, just wanted to let you know so you could check them out. First of all, um, as you can see, my hair is a little bit messy today, um, but I have naturally curly, uh, wavy, frizzy hair. Um, I, of course, have already had a nap today. First of all, I'll tell you, the last week has been hell for me. <laughs> I have been in the ER twice. I've been admitted to the hospital. I had a very severe allergic reaction to a medication I was taking for chronic migraines. And um, I broke out in a very, very terrible rash. And so I've been doing a lot of napping. So my hair today is courtesy of my crazy, crazy nap. So, excuse me. But while my kids are napping, I thought I'd get a video in and show you what some of my favorite things were. But one of my things when my hair looks good and it doesn't look like it's all like crazy is this product I've been using from Redken. And this is their smooth lock system. This is called Stay Sleek. It's a leave-in treatment. And what I like about this is it's one of those things that you can put in your hair. It's a cream. It comes in a, in a pump. And when you put it in, you only need one or two pumps, but it's made for curly, frizzy hair. Um, and it may only be important if you have hair like mine. Um, and it, of course, doesn't look like it really been working today, but this is because I sleep crazy. Um, but what I normally do in the morning, you only need to use this like once every one to three, you're supposed to use them once every three washes. You can wait, wash your hair three times and use it again. But I like to use it every single time because my hair is really dry and my hair will just suck up product. But when I do that in the morning before my nap, my hair was perfect. It had these beautiful, gorgeous curls and it wasn't frizzy. And of course, this is from having been, yeah, tossing and turning and all of that good stuff. But um, this really has helped. My hair seems to be less frizzy overall. It has a nice light scent to it. Um, and if I don't touch my hair during the day, which usually people who have curly hair, the less you touch it, the better it is, um, it really does help quite a bit. And towards the end of the day, my hair doesn't look flat, it doesn't look greasy. Um, I don't find I need as much serum. I had been using a lot of Moroccan oil in my hair. I, I need less Moroccan oil and some days I don't even use any at all. So I use this um, Smooth Lock system, their um, conditioning system in the shower, and then this on my hair when it's wet, and then I use some of their curl cream, the Redken curl cream in my hair, and all of a sudden my hair is like it's a new head of hair. I love it. So that's one of the things I've been loving just in the last month. The other thing that I had been seeing a lot about, now this has been out forever and ever in a day, but I finally said, okay, I'll try it. I've been very skeptical about using different mascaras because I have small eyes and when I laugh, and I'm a big laugher, I laugh, laugh, laugh all the time, I crinkle my eyes up and my eyelashes touch down here and the next thing I know, I have dark you know, I already have dark circles, but then I have mascara transfer all the way down here, even waterproof stuff, it goes everywhere. And I have just been, everything I try from prestige brands all the way down to drugstore brands, I had not found anything. I finally settled on one thing that I liked and I've been using it for a long time. It was Blink Mascara. It was the Kiss Me Mascara from Blink and I really liked it. And then I found that I could use the um, beauty tubes from L'Oreal that was a, a similar type. It's not quite as expensive. It doesn't work quite as well, but in a pinch when finances were tight, I was using that. And then I tried um, Lancome's um, Black Carrot, which works really well. I like that quite a lot. And I've been using that for the last, I don't know, six months. And then on a whim, I saw somebody on one of the editors of Birchbox talking about this. It's from Benefit. It's called They're Real. And they could not stop raving about it. And when they tried this, they said all the difference in the world. And I was like, really? Mascara is mascara is mascara is mascara. Mascara is not mascara. So if you haven't tried it, I would suggest trying this. 
Um, I happen to notice that um, for the month of September, Little Black Bag is doing a promotion where they're giving away a freebie from Benefit, and one of them happens to be you can uh, trade for one of these if you don't get it in your bag. Um, one of my friends, I told her about it. She traded. She got one of these. She's excited to try it. Um, I love it. I, when I went to Ulta, I got this one and it came with a little uh, mini as well, all for the same price. So I have this one and a little tiny travel one because I don't want to be without this. This is like the best mascara I have tried in the last probably four or five years. Um, a, a, aside from the beauty, the, the blink mascara where you use water and you just press and pull it off, that stuff doesn't flake or transfer. But for a traditional mascara, this stuff, amazing. Love, love, love love this stuff. All right, other things that I have fallen in love with, this is a new color from OPI's Germany collection. It's called Don't Pretzel My Buttons. I like it because for me, it's a really close color to my own skin. It would give me a good mannequin hand. Um, that whole idea where you elongate your fingernails with that same color, and it gives you kind of like I like to call it like the ladies who lunch look, <laughs> you know, the ladies who go all glitzed up and, you know, very, very buffy and muffy. <laughs> it's not terrible, you know, but when I don't want to wear a really bright, you know, hello, these are my fingers, I can wear a very neutral, very ladylike mannequin hand color. And this one I think is perfect for me, but it's a really nice color. It's a very, they have some very, they have two, I think, really nice neutrally colors. The rest of the ones from the Germany collection are punchy and beautiful. But this one to me, I've been looking for a really good one that would be a good mannequin hand kind of um, nail color. And for me, don't pretzel my buttons is perfect. The other thing that I got, I picked up is Smashbox's Halo Powder. Now this is one of those that comes with one of those dials where you twist it as a nice little, you know, compact. When you twist it, it shaves off the powder. What I like about this, and I, it's expensive. It was $60 and I was like, $60 for a powder, seriously? What I like about it is that it's one of those that actually helps when you put it on in 10 minutes, it helps hydrate your face. Can you believe a powder would help hydrate your face? I could not believe that was possible. Um, I got a sample of it when I was at Sephora in summertime. Uh, I guess it's still summer, but it was in June. And I got a, um, a sample for free. They, I had spent like $300 and they're like, here, try this and try that and try the other. And they gave me a sample and I tried it and I was like, oh, this is really nice. And, and I normally don't wear powder because it settles in my lines and it makes me look older. And that was not the case of this, even especially around the eye area. It was fantastic. And I noticed that it also kind of helped, you know, blend out all of the small little, it helps set all of my makeup. And since I've had um, my allergic reaction, <laughs> my skin, I'm wearing a lot more foundation than I ever have before. I had to order a thicker foundation than I've ever worn before because I have all of these spots all over my face. It's kind of like some, some very severe hyperpigmentation. And so with that, and then this over the top, it's like my normal skin all over again. So I cannot say enough good stuff about this. This stuff is amazing and it makes your skin look flawless and it doesn't look like you're wearing powder. It is expensive, but it's worth it. Now, the other thing that you may already know and love, and I only just went to Mac and got into Mac like about three weeks ago, but it's Mac's um, fluid line. It's their gel eyeliner in black. This is Black Track. And I've been using the same eyeliner brush from Bobbi Brown for the last probably 15 years. And this is just Bobbi Brown Essentials eyeliner brush. There we go. And it's really old. I've had it. But the thing is, if you have a good brush and they're handmade brushes, you can keep them forever. And you know, I use it, I wash it, you, know, you lay it flat so you don't get any water up in here and it dries ready for the next day and it makes a really nice, beautiful line. Well, when I got this, I said, maybe it's time to get a new eyeliner brush. So I picked up a MAC 211, and this little guy, this is a precision brush. It was $20 worth every single penny. Now, this right here is fantastic. I absolutely love this gel eyeliner. It goes on smoothly, no blips, no blops. I have a hard time when in the waterline down here. It doesn't stay really, but for on top, 
anywhere aside from the waterline, beautiful. But for this, this right here, I love, I don't have any MAC brushes, this is my first one. I think this is like me getting into being addicted to MAC brushes because this brush is amazing. Very, very affordable, very, very well made. So if you're not a MAC brush fan, maybe you are. If you're not, go and just try one. And something as small and precise as this little guy here, definitely, definitely worth it. It's the MAC 211 brush. Those are just some of the things I'm loving right now, things that I recently got that have been making a big difference in how I have been enjoying my makeup and my beauty altogether care look. And I hope it's helpful and if nothing else, entertaining. Have a great day. For the Lipstick Gal, I'm Rebecca.